Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Polly, and happy homecoming week. Uh, we now have lecture number two. We're going to talk about the periodic table. So I hope you print out your notes and you're ready to write, 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 write some stuff on there. We're going to identify families, identify the number of valence electrons, charges from the periodic table, properties of metals, properties of nonmetals, determine if electrons are gains and loss. A lot of these are review parts, so that's kind of good. Um, here's a picture of the periodic table that I'll be re referring to all the time. So basically what we're going to do first is identify um, the different um, parts of the periodic table. This first column, oh no, it's doing it again. This first column is called the alkali metals. Okay. These are the alkaline earth metals. These right here, so I'm going to get the nice and easy name. Boron group. Carbon group. Nitrogen group. So notice how just the names of the elements. Oxygen group. And then they get a little weird. Halogens. And noble gases. Okay? So that's the names of them. So the S and P have names. So notice that's the S block and the P block. A, S, A, B, S and P are names. Okay? Um, the alkali metals are very reactive and they're large. They have one valence electron. So um, I'm going to write down here the number of valence electrons. One, two. And these we can work on a little bit. Three. Well, Three valence electrons, four valence electrons, five valence electrons, six, seven, eight. So it's basically in order, we just skip the D block. Okay. So group two is the alkaline earth metals, two valence electrons. The boron group has three valence electrons. The carbon group has four, nitrogen is five, oxygen is six, halogens the most reactive non metals. So this is important to know. Most reactive metals, alkaline. Most reactive non metals are halogens. They have seven valence electrons. Noble gases are unreactive. They have eight. Hydrogen is its own family. It is a non-metal. It has one valence electron. All right. Charges are periodic as well. That means, oh, oh, I think I might have solved the riddle of what happens with this. Plus one, plus two, plus three, zero, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. We've seen that a bunch, so we should be comfortable with that. All right. Metals, non metals, and semi metals. Um, I'm going to emphasize this step. Make sure you put it in your periodic table you're going to use in class. It's not showing up super great there, but there's a stair step here. Okay? So the left hand side are metals, and the right hand side are non metals. Okay? Metals lose electrons because they're large and unattractive. Their properties are shiny, malleable, ductile, um, react with acids, and what I forgot that you better put in there are conduct as solid and liquids. Okay? So that's very important. Non-metallic properties. They gain electrons because they're small and attractive to electrons. They're dull, they're brittle, and they don't react with metals. Okay. Oh. What? 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 That's not metals. Do not react with acids. I was going to say they do react with metals. They don't react with acids. Sorry. Semi metals are also called alkaloids. Or, I'm sorry. Semi metals are also called metalloids. They're a mixture of some properties of each. Aluminum is a metal. So when we talk about these, I'm shading in my metalloids. So anything that's got two sides on the stair step is a metalloid except for aluminum. So I put that in there just so you know. All right, that's it. Isn't that the greatest, shortest podcast ever? I know. You wish they were all that wonderful. And happy homecoming week. Toodles.